that's how you do it. So this question over here, I would say, uh, yes, it's kind of challenging. So um, I would say the idea is that um, we try something harder, of course, okay, um, to, to make sure we bring our level. So whether you will get this kind of question uh, in your exam or not. Got it, huh? Okay, start. Everybody, this given question here, yes, it's about art and sector. Uh, of course, this is not the usual question that you will get. So this is kind of extreme. It's, um, I would say this is something where it's kind of like old. Okay, I get it from um, uh, one random school. Okay, it's a, it's a, it, it's something which is not so common because the common question that you will get is more to like normal linear equation uh, or maybe some very basic perimeter area question. Come on, this is different. Uh, this thing, it includes what you know. It includes like two more things. Number one, it includes algebraic expression relating to factorization. I'm going to show you some, some information in a while. So we, uh, I mean, I will get you some ideas start before we do that. And yeah, that's one of it. And of course, uh, algebraic formula is another chapter that we're going to use it. Okay. And of course, this question, I missed out something. Thank you, Kaylee. So you put there, pi equals to 22 over 7. Okay, students, let's start the question. In the diagram, PQ and SR are arc of the circle with center O as usual. Center gives you the angle and that's the 30, 30 degrees, right? So of course, if let's say we're going to talk about the given two PQ and SR. So that's the arc, that's the arc. If let's say we're going to draw it, right? It's going to be this big, everyone, for PQ. But it, they show you that 30 degrees, that slice of pizza. And another one is like, wow, whoa, this big. But of course, they show you that 30 degree slice, right? right? Okay, so we understand like the first part already. Given OPR meter, PS8 meter, wait, wait, students. I'm going to ask you answer me quickly in the chats, okay? Can you tell me arc PQ? I repeat, arc PQ. Your angle is 30 degrees, I know. Your radius is RCM, I know. But my question to you guys, SR arc, ARC arc, angle 30 degrees, what's the radius? Answer. What's the radius, guys? Yes, I believe you're right. Nimpong, you're right. Come, I want to see anyone did wrongly. Hey, radius, radius. Ah, radius. Sun Yue, you are right. Hey, hey, Sushi, you accidentally show everybody your wrong answer. <laughs> we said correct. E cannot times walk. Somebody put 8R. Uh, I don't want to mention your name. Uh. Uh, you changed the answer for me. Uh, so hey, come on. The radius 8 plus R. Ma. Right now, this whole thing is the radius. Ma. 8 plus R. Or maybe R plus 8. Change here. Uh, so the next one, wow. so they, they talk about arc, then suddenly, you know what I mentioned? They say area. So it looks like this question is not about arc. This question is about area. So you're going to use pi r squared. Okay, we use pi r squared. And the area is for the shaded region, a shaded region part by parts, right? So get that huge piece of pizza minus the smaller piece of pizza, and the answer will be your shaded region. And that shader region is given as 18.5 pi. And I notice in physical class, a lot of students, what they do? They always put that cm square, a uh, meter square. Come on, put the unit for what? Final answer, you write it. But during workings, don't do that. Change it, I know you are. Yeah. Then 30 degrees. Yes, I know that. 30 degrees. Yes, I know that. The bigger one, 8 plus r. Or maybe r plus 8, it's okay. And of course, this will be r. Come on, students. We can fill in the blanks already. Radius, I have it. That's the reason, I mean, I want to get the R. That's why there's an R there. It's, it's normal, right? So we're going to fill in the blanks. So bracket minus bracket equals to 18.5 pi. Okay, students, I'm going to fill in the blanks. I'm going to work out the whole thing, okay? Now, students, A, 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 30 over 360, like what you mentioned, pi R squared, right? Students, let me tell you something. Even if I get you pi equals to 22 over 7, right? Do you notice I didn't replace it? Do you know why? Remember just now earlier I mentioned, if the question get you, uh, I mean, the information given, there is a pi 
given as in in symbol format without replacing any 22 over 7 or, or 3.42, follow them. Because it means uh, eventually you will be able to cut it. I mean simplify, uh, divide it out. Then it will, you, you will get rid of it. So that's the reason why I don't want to replace. So the next one will be 30 over 360 pi r square. Ah, students, this part, we nail it. Normal, uh, normal workings, like fill in the blanks, you're going to fill in your angles, you're going to fill in your radius, done. Okay, but the problem is, students say, teacher, so many things, how to do? You're going to, ex you, you're going to expand again, then you oh, square, got 8 plus r, what to do? Come on, you got your chapter 2 skill, your algebraic formula, factorization, all these things, expand all you got. Right? Okay, let me tell you the first idea that I'm going to use. Now, the one in red, please don't write it. It's just an idea to me. Okay, students, I will, I will spend slightly more time, okay? Now, don't go, ah, uh, Don't go. Students, first, can you see 30 over 360? Right? So, I temporarily ignore that. And you know what I do? I will try to replace it using some alphabets and numbers. Okay? Since they are the same thing, you see what I do? Okay, students, of course, the red color one is like super random. I simply write one, but I try to fit the, the, the same thing. Can you see 30 over 360? I put two. Can you see pi? I put A. I purposely do that because I want to make it easier to view and to explain the idea that I'm going to use. Students, agree or not? In this situation, I can factorize. Of course, total, you can factorize 2A lah. But I don't want to factorize 2a. I take a out and you left this thing only. Agree or not? Agree or not? Factorization. The easy factorize that I mentioned in my YouTube channel as well as uh, in, in, in normal class. Right? Got it. Then come on. After you factorize, you know the pur purpose of factorize is to change plus minus question into times. Then you bring the times over and divide. Then you cut the a gone. And yes, just like Gusen mentioned, teacher, the two you take out also, uh, bring to the other side and cut a 10. You are right. You are right. That's what I'm trying to do. But in order to make sure students be able to complete it part by part, so I plan to what? Wait, uh, let me take this away. You know what I do? I plan to do it one by one. Okay, so students, look at this. The right, uh, the right. So can you see this one, this one, this one? It's like the two A, Bs now, times. And then this one, this one, this one, limpho, because I bring to the other side times. The other side, divide, cut, cut, gone. So I take the pie out, everyone. You see, I take the pie out. Don't write the one in red. Huh? I said, don't write. Yeah. Okay, so then bracket, 30 over 360 times 8 plus R square minus, okay, minus. So this one, 30 over 360 times R square equals to 18.5 pi students. Can you see the pi outside? Bracket, right? I bring to the other side, suppose, over pi, right? Cut, cut, gone. This is what I'm trying to do. But I want to make the process faster. That's why I say don't write the red on. So you see what I do, huh? Come on, cut the pi. Nah. Don't waste our time. So that's why I spend slightly more time to explain the situation to you. Okay, so come on. I don't want to waste the time. So I just cut, nah. cut, cut, cut. Boom. Okay. Hey, Linfong. Factorization word. Factorization. Form, form 2, chapter 2. Uh, easy factorize. Uh, then we apply in algebraic formula. Now we can move to the other side. Ah. Uh, so, hey, can you see 30 over 360? Too big already. Lah. We simplify a bit, okay? So, you simplify, you get 112. 112 students. Factorize this as well. 1 over 12, 8 plus r squared. This is the one left inside. Minus r squared equals to 18.5. Saw that? I factorize the 1 over 12. Come on. 1 over 12 is a times. You bring to the other side, you divide. Take a calculator, of course. Okay. So 8 plus r bracket square. Later, I'm going to do this already, you know. So students, calculator lah. So you type the 18.5. 18.5, you divide by open bracket, 1 over 12. Close it. Bam. 
to do. That's 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 the reason why we use calculator, right? Now, then after you get this one, come on, expand this, expand. Uh, common mistake, huh? student write what you know, 64 plus R square. Wrong. Cannot. So this one, in, in we, we do this in chapter two, right? You're going to break into how many terms come? Tell me in the chat how many terms you can break into. Thank you very much. Hey. Go. Wait. Three. Wait. A plus R, man. Wait. A plus R, A plus R. Wait. Okay, ready, man. Ah, uh, but I do the shortcut for you, everyone. Z. One, two, three. Ah, uh, then minus R square. Right now, right? cut sixty-four. Right now, right? you square the first one, the skill that we mentioned before, plus R. You square it. <coughs> R square. Sorry, plus R square. Right. Okay, plus R. You square it. Positive, positive, still positive. R times R, you get R square. The one that we have been repeating in chapter two, form two. Then the one in the middle, eight and plus R, you times it, plus eight R times two, plus 16 R. Okay, the best thing comes in. Plus R square minus R square, gone. So the next workings here. Next working, 64 plus 16 R equals to 222. Students, 16 R equals to, calculator, 222 minus 64, 185. So R equals to 185 divided by 16. Done, 9.875. Okay, and then you put CM. Sorry, this one not CM, this one meter. Done, that's how you do it. So this question over here, I would say that, yes, it's kind of challenging. So um, I would say the idea is there. Um, we try something harder, of course, okay, um, to, to make sure we bring our level up. So whether you will get this kind of question uh, in your exam or not, probably super low chance, uh, but I still prefer to, to show you like all these questions just in case like, you know, the, the few schools that I've been talking about, uh, the few school, not like one school, you know, Okay, so sometimes your, your 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 school school might come up with something weird, right? So this is one of it that you can you can get a reference to. Okay, so students, job. I'm gonna stop here. Next class, few more questions. Then we're gonna start chapter six already.